Hello, and welcome to Aging is for Everyone. My name is Rosemary Hall, and I'll be your hostess for tonight. And we have a really good program for you. You know, over the summer, we all know that we had oodles to do. You could have been doing something every single day, inside, outside, anywhere you wanted. What we'd like to do tonight is share with you three organizations that offer programs that are going to give you things to do all through the winter. And I'm going to start tonight by introducing Jerry Bastido, who is the executive director of Penn Dixie. And I'm going to turn it over to, Penn, to Jerry to tell you what Penn Dixie is all about. Well, thank you, Rosemary. Thanks for having us here. Penn Dixie is an outdoor education center in which we deal in the natural sciences. We own a 54-acre site in Hamburg, and we saved the site going back to uh, 1996 when we got the first track of property, primarily for the fossils, but we do also in the geology. We, we do astronomy programs there. We have birding programs available. We do summer day camps for kids, school groups, and actually our client base is really um, people from three to 102, you might say. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, programs for all ages of people that come out there and a variety of programs. We have special events where we do a lot of things like this past weekend we did a Western New York Earth Science Day out there. And we have, uh, we're open on weekends right now and uh, nine to five uh, on Saturdays and 10 to five on Sundays. And uh, we let people come out and we take them out and introduce them to what this area was like 380 million years ago. Jerry, tell people exactly where Penn Dixie is. Penn Dixie's in Hamburg and it's, uh, we're actually off a of big tree road in Hamburg and it's just uh, west of South Park Avenue. Okay. Uh, there's a roundabout there and you just go down and take the first road uh, to the right as you go west and it's Bristol and go to the end and we're right there. But we're sort of landlocked and actually when people come out there, it looks like a lunar landscape it uh, doesn't look like anything at all. And I tell people, you know, you've got to remember you're, you're looking at pages of geologic history here. And that's what you got to look at. And when they get out there and they actually find the fossils, they go nuts to think there's so many things there. And we let them keep everything they find, too. And now, are there certain, certain things that visitors are allowed to do and not allowed to do? Well, the only thing we don't allow them to do is throw rocks. But uh, <laughs> primarily, uh, no, they can keep all the fossils they find. And we try to educate them, you know, what the area was like 380 million years ago when we were 20 to 30 degrees south of the equator in a warm tropical sea. And it was a marine environment, salt water, very much like the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans today. And um, it was uh, probably two to 300 feet of water here and a large variety of, uh, of fossils there. And we're known nationally, internationally for the fossils we have there. Yes, so tell, the, tell our audience how many different countries well, this year, we, in, in 2014, and we're still open, we've had visitors from 41 states, District of Columbia, and 15 countries so far. And it's just amazing. This past weekend, we had people there from the United Kingdom and also China and about five different states. So it's just amazing where people come in. And they pick us up on the Internet on our website, which is pendixie.org, and uh, they come out and they love it. Uh, there's been a lot of restrictions on fossil collecting um, nationwide right now. Actually, even locally, there's places. Um, we save this place because it's very flat. It's easy, easy to access for everyone. And we have over 4,100 feet of paved trails there for wheelchairs, walkers, strollers, and wagons. Oh, that's which is, good to know. It is. We, uh, we try to do that. And yes, there's fossils that go from Lake Erie shoreline all the way east. But it's on private property. And people don't want you on the private property because of liability issues and that. And we want people to come out. And we want them to have a good time. And when people get out there, the first comment, they say, I can't believe there's so many fossils in all these rocks, you know, which is just amazing. And then the astronomy programs, too, are just spectacular. We have you have some, some kind of a tele telescope program yep. of the 11th of October, I think? Yeah, we had one on the 11th of October. That was our last one for the year because now it's cold. Once we get a building up out there, uh, we'll be doing them year-round. But we do a lot of evening astronomy astronomy programs, day astronomy programs, and there are volunteers that do it, and we've got 16-inch scopes. In fact, one of the guys just got a 17-inch scope, and you just can't believe looking at the planets, the moon, constellations, and everything else is just spectacular. Okay, I heard two things that I that perked my interest immediately. Volunteers. Yes. You have uh, your own core of volunteers? Oh, yeah. We have them, uh, just probably under 300 volunteers, and we do a volunteer training program every March, mid-March, and we're always looking for people to come out that want to work with people, people that like to relate to other people, not only just kids, but adults. And a lot of people think that what we do is just for kids, mm -hmm. and it is. It's for kids, two to 102, I say. Well, it's But, you know, the sure. thing is, uh, we probably do more adults than we do kids. We have groups that come in from around the country to collect fossils here, and it's been four or five days here. So Penn Dixie is sort of an educational, recreational, cultural, and tourism attraction for Western New York. 
okay so uh, say somebody wants to come out there they they don't have to have they don't there doesn't have to be a particular program going on no, they no. can just come out there and enjoy the uh, site on our public days uh, they when we have the public hours they can come out but if people want to come into town and we have a lot of people that do that or people that are here want to come out they can call us up and we'll establish a time for them to go out okay and you obviously do troop uh, group Tours oh, yeah. and things like tours, that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We do a lot of school groups and uh, you know scouts, um, senior groups. You know. Now I know you're going to be having a building campaign. Yep. yep. When is that kicking off? Well, it, very shortly we're going to be going after the monies for that building. It's we're at a point now where we need to get into our bathrooms for one thing, and also have we have inclement weather conditions sometimes that affect our programming. We really need to have a building on site so we can do things on a year-round basis there. That'll be great. Yeah. That'll be wonderful. Yeah. I imagine you have a lot of school kids that come in, oh, yeah. groups from the schools yeah. and things like that. Yes, yeah, so we yeah. do. Well, and we also go into schools too. Oh, and, and, and how, do, how does you pay for this? It's the you have a membership. Well, okay. we have a membership base that helps do it. We have also admissions we charge to the site. We work on grants. We get some funding from the town of Hamburg and Erie County, and a variety of sources, donations, fundraisers we run, you know, and a lot of programs we run on site and off site too. And we also, in the winter time, we do cross country skiing out there. But we also have a lecture series that goes on from January to May. A what? Uh, we, a lecture series oh. in the natural sciences. In fact, we'll we'll be starting that in January, and we do that in our gateway building, uh, gateway executive office building. Where we have an office, we use the auditorium there, and it's really nice. Which the new building will be a, a plus for that, yeah, also, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, the new building will actually be right at the site, and we'll be doing more and more programs like that. Sounds yeah. fantastic. Yeah. It just sounds very good. Yeah, we have a we have a good time in bringing people in, and you know we're also an economic impact to the area too by bringing in all these tourists and that too. What would be the 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 most popular fossil that people are looking for? Trilobites. Trilobites Trilobite. are the big ones, yeah. Okay. They're yeah, like little potato bugs. And then, and we're known for having multiple complete trilobites on a slab, so it's really... Well, Jerry, I, I think this was very interesting. I know that I learned some things that I had no idea about, and I hope our audience does, and I hope that you get some visitors that'll say, gee, I heard about it on Aging is for Everyone. Yep. And yeah. so thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thanks for having us. It was a pleasure. And pleasure yep. and I hope that people will look at the things that uh, are on the screen get the number call find out about it yep. okay very good thank, thank you. you very much you're very yep. welcome come out and see us and audience you hold on we'll be back shortly